Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb, and this is Civilization 4. We are chipping down memory lane. Quite literally chipping on everything, because we do not know how to play the darn thing. <laughs> and we're also going to try to build the Stonehenge. 18 turns, I very much doubt we'll get it, but I'm willing to try. Um, you know what, I do think we're going to build a mine here. I just want to see if we can generate a resource, I doubt it. W would probably be better to wait for... Um, for, uh, oh dear, lions. Um, would have been better to wait for ironworking too, but we can't have everything. If I go here, you're going to be attacked and hurt badly. But you, they only have one movement. So let's try to move around them. Then there's our settler dude here. Uh, oh boy. If... <laughs> Ah, uh, I completely forgot though that you should probably have an escort. Um, <laughs> uh, well, there aren't any one near this tile. We can see there. Right? Oh boy. Please don't suddenly spawn a lion, lion or another lion. Their foes, not their friends, that cities learn the lesson of building high walls. Okay, um... I'm gonna go with sailing because that's gonna enable trade with this guy since he founds the city and he can found it now. Good. You recommend here, and I know why. It's because of the bronze. Or the, or the copper, rather. So I get why it would be really productive. But I think I wanna settle here first. And then I wanna see what the hell is down there before I go and grab the copper. It's gonna be the third city. If we get that far. Oh, wait a second. This is a fresh water tile anyway, isn't it? Yeah, that's an oasis. I could have built away from the river. But by building here, we're gonna have trade along the river. I'm okay with this. Let's go, Utrecht. Uh, you should probably build a unit to defend yourself. <laughs> the lions are coming in, and we can avoid the lions. Though that's gonna be a bit risky. No, it's fine. Okay. It very much looks like we're alone, then. It very much looks like we're alone. I don't mind that at all. Do not mind. Uh, congratulations, you have connected your first city, Utrecht, with your capital. Uh, because, the, uh, because the cities are connected, they will share resources and increase their commerce. How are they connected? Because we're researching sailing right now, that is, that's what enables trade on rivers. So why do we all, are we already connected? Uh, what's the big picture? And you're gonna move me to the city. Thingy Bob, that's fine. What is this? Uh, tooltip? No tooltip. Okay, so let's go. Um, population, happiness, health, food production, hammer production, gold production, science, spies? Spy points? Something? I don't know. Uh, cultures, uh, cities connected by trade grid, I assume. Unhappy citizens, is that it? Uh, great people points. Uh, no clue. Oh, that's the amount of turns they have spent producing things. Ah. But yes, that means that Utrex has some unhappy, unhappy faces. That's correct. Yeah, plus one unhappy, but... Uh, no, that can't be right. Oh, it's... Uh, is it economic cost? That might be it. Upkeep cost? Because we're now we're losing one gold per turn. Uh, how do I convert gold into the budget? Oh, we just do that naturally by doing this. Ah, uh, I see. Uh, that's fine. So eventually we'll run out of money and we'll have to do that. That's fine. At least I know now. You are gonna run away from that lion. Go here. Now we can have the lion come to us. That's okay. You are gonna go up and defend the next city we build. Whichever that's gonna be. Go in this direction. Uh, 
So yeah, we very much start on our own little continent here. You're gonna stay right there. I don't think I want to take my chances now. Fortify, I want to wait you wait for you to... Oh, there we go. Wait for you to find the lions. Okay, so we are kind of screwed here. You're gonna attack me no matter what. We're not gonna have defensible terrain. Uh, I can run away and hope he goes somewhere else. Probably our best chance. If he comes after us. Okay, so we know he didn't go there. We didn't go there. So he, he retreated. Good. Dodge the lion. That's what we're playing now. Game of dodge the lion. Uh, we did not get... We didn't research pottery, did we? I think we did. No, we didn't. Uh. Well, I was supposed to research uh, masonry and up to... Monotheism, we have to do that next. A dough. And I also want to get the cottages going, because that's kind of what we want to do here, I think. I don't know. How much growth do we need? <laughs> I think I want one cottage here, and then maybe a farm there. So I suppose we can go and farm this tile right now. Yeah, let's do that. That's plus one food. Some extra food is good. I could also go and chop some forests. Oh, you came back. Uh, fine. Let's move away. Uh, you're gonna go there. Let's see if we can, like, get him to attack us. It's better. Okay, the line here is probably gonna attack our scout. But this is the best situation we can get for our scout, so... You can't direct the wind, but you can adjust your sails. Okay. So now I could build ships as well. Uh, all right, I need polytheism, and then monotheism. Yeah, let's go then, we'll and see if we can get a, get a religion. Uh, you're gonna go here, where the lions are. Borders of Utrecht have expanded. This is what I love about being a creative civ. It's so easy to get get lots of borders, large borders, quickly. But. Um, other than that, you're not... You do sacrifice, of course, by not having one of the other perks. Like, uh, what are the perks again? Um, let's see... Uh, leaders... That's not what I'm after. But if we go just going to Budika here and have a look. Can I go to aggressive traits? Can I see those? No. But we can see what they are. Anyways, aggressive, free promotions for all melee and gunpowder units, plus one happiness for civs. Uh, what else is around there? Philosophical, or birth rate of great people. Spiritual, no anarchy, but whenever you flip around the uh, your uh, setup and free temples. Organized, what was that again? That was uh, cheaper civic up, keeps you save gold. Uh, imperialistic, great, okay, great. Oh, 50% fossil production of settlers, that's lovely. And 50% wonder production. Oh, okay, we are gonna have trouble with wonder production then. There are bound to be civs out there that are industrious. Protective. Yeah, all these traits. It's been so long since I've played, I don't remember much of this at all. And so, ah, well. And we didn't meet anyone. This is good and bad. It's good because that means that this whole landmass is going to be ours. Unless we suddenly encounter some civ. So we're not going to be forward settled. We didn't lose any of the goody huts we could, meet, we could find. And all these things are of course great. Look at that woodsman. Defending so valiantly. I do think I want to find out what more about that uh, that copper. Let's move both of our warriors over this way. You're gonna heal up, right? Yes, you're healing up. Had I known this, I would have... If I had known we were alone on the continent, I could have used that scout to pop all the good yachts. But... Uh, we didn't... We might still... And how do I even... Um, 
There's no, uh, there's no embarkation here. We need the transport units to actually transport units across the sea, right? Can the galleons, or galleons, the um, galleys, do that? Unit. Galley, galley, galley. I know you're here somewhere. Uh, da, 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 da. Or is it the Karak? No, it's not the Karak. Uh, Coracle, that's all I'm thinking about. That's, what, that's, that's, that's unit in Civ 3, I think. Which is a very early exploration ship. Anyways, galleys. Can you transport cargo space too? Okay, so you can. So I need to get a galley on the water so I can explore all the things here. Um, now, this game did not have rush production in terms of money, right? Not unless you had stolen, right? So, in the end game, you'll be able to rush production, but not before. And the end game is so far away. Do I want to go there? I do not. No, I do. <laughs> Let's take our chances here. Uh, you are just gonna go. You know, yeah, that's fine. Take the safe route on, between the on, through the jungle. Now the good news here in this game, if I recall correctly, at least in the early part of the. Oh, we're the third most advanced. We need more science. Uh, I'm gonna guess that these two civs are the ones that founded religions because they got plus ten percent. Production uh, plus ten percent uh, science. If they built the monastery, they didn't. They, had to have, they would have to have built that, though. Yeah, it might not be the case. After all, anyway, um, where was I? Ah, lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, in this game, uh, forest uh, grow at least in the early part of the game. So if you don't improve a tile, there's a chance a forest will spawn. I don't know if one has already done, so I didn't. Uh, if so, I've missed the messages. But again, there are also so all these events in this game that I do not remember. Not at all similar are the race of the immortal gods and the race of men who walk upon the earth. That's fine. I want to... Uh, yes, go monotheism. I don't think anyone else has got it. I don't recall if you can have multiple religions. I really don't recall. Okay, yeah, we're definitely alone. We are definitely alone. Um, oh. Oh, this kind of sucks. Well, there's an oasis there. Um, how do I sort this out the, into the best of my... Ability. I think a city down here is going to be okay-ish. It's on the river mouth. Going to take advantage of all these tiles and all the ocean tiles eventually with the, with the levee and the, with the dike. Just going to take on all the resources in the area. I think that's a good city site. Which means we need a city somewhere around this oasis. To capture the copper. Uh, you don't capture these two squares. And you do capture this one. Uh, so city on uh, there wouldn't be... Well, you're gonna have a lot of desert. <laughs> it might be stupid to go on the one tile. What would be the advantage of doing that? Let's see. City here will not capture these forests. And if I build the city into the south here... Oh, that one's going to be much trickier to place. Uh, a city there will catch these two resources, but not these. A city here will catch these three. And have fresh water. But it won't catch the cow. A city there then will leave most of the desert up to the city up here. To do as they please. What can you do with deserts, though? I, don't, I think deserts are dead squares in this game, isn't it? Aren't they? Fairly certain they are. Um, over here we'll, we'll probably build a city on the river mouth right there, I reckon. So... I don't know. What they're gonna do with the cattle in the, in the here. We might even build a city right here. Because we can make that work. In the long run. Fish all the way out there. That's one's going to be tricky to take. You need to settle on top of the gold. I do not want to do that. 
I don't know where I want my cities. And I can't place markers. <laughs> that is, that isn't, isn't in this game, so... Uh, yeah, getting that copper is going to be a bit iffy. It's a lot of production, though. Okay, if I build here, we're going to have an overlap on this, these squares. That's definite. That's certainly going to happen. Uh, but I'm going to have this square and this square. As opposed to, if I build there, I'm going to have more overlap on this side. And it's going to gain a flat plane tile and this tile up here. Grassland tile. So I'm basically trading a plane tile for a grassland tile, ultimately. By settling there rather than here. Well, that's not true. We're going to gain a tile over there, too. Uh, we'll see what happens. I think I'm going to find the city down here first. Oh, there's copper over here, too. Oh, never mind, then. We might have to go on, on the coastline there. But yeah, we're going to need more resources. I do I do think I want the stone. So I have a city down here, down, down here that actually has stone and might get some boost to some wonders. Are we actually going to get Stonehenge? Four turns away. Three turns away. I'm nervous now. And we finish the farm. We still don't have the cottage tech. Uh, you are size 5 now. I'm going to assume that you're working in the mine. You are. Um, I think we're... Do I want to finish the road entirely? I might want to do that, but first we're going to farm up that, I think. Need more food. The scout is going to take... A, uh, oh, there we go. Lions, of course. There are still some lions around there. You have double woodsmen. Uh, I need you to, you know, sit here. Fog bust. Guard the area. Yeah, we want to settle in that direction as soon as we have the uh, ability to do so. Damn it! So we lost it by two turns. Bitter? Yes. Um, <laughs> very bitter, because you now get a hurried production of it. Well, dough. Um, the Great Wall is the other one that's fairly cheap. What happens if I do this anything do something now? Um this is gonna be turned into gold, isn't it? But if I click on the Great Wall This is gonna cancel all the production. There is no one stone engine left, it's built. Grr. Someone built the stone engine and got all those free monuments. And profits. I'm just kind of nervous. What's going to happen? What's going to happen if I do this? Oh, okay, so you just do that. Oh, that's fine. I assume that the excess production is going to shift away. Next turn. Great wall. Someone's going to build the great wall if I don't. I'm a little certain of that, but... Uh I think I'd rather have another settler then. Before we go Great Wall. I'm gonna take my chances. We'll see how that goes. Ultimately, it's not gonna matter all that much, I think. We're gonna be settling this landmass pretty quickly. You're gonna stay right there. Uh, is there a sentry? There is a sentry. There we go. You are gonna go up towards the lions. They are there right now. So you just hold tight right here. You're out in this tile. Uh, can we improve an oasis? I don't know. You know what? Go out through this tile first. Yeah, there we go. They got converted to gold. That's fine. 
<sighs> so we lost one wonder. That kind of bites, given that we play on this difficulty, but what can you do? You're gonna go over here now and dodge the lions, try to at least see what's out here so we can know if we, what do you want to build in favor of copper. Wait a second! Does that access thing mean that if I have access to stone in one city, I have access to stone in all cities? That are connected by trade? I wonder if that's the case. Yeah, you're gonna go off by scout. That scout is gonna be attacked now no matter what. We cannot improve anything on the tile. Okay, that's fine. Um, go there. Get the cattle. You stay put. Try to survive. You go here and just fog bust. Yeah, I guess we'll just settler spam for a bit. Did we get did we get the religion? I wonder. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, thank goodness. He, he survived. Just. I am the Lord thy God. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Did we get it? Okay, we have a religion. Yay, go us. Uh, Judaism has spread into the land of you. Okay, convert. Let's see. Judaism spread into your lands. Okay. Converting will produce plus one happiness in all cities with Judaism. Would you like to adopt this new fa new creed? Um, yes. We're going to need pottery at this point. One free tech. That's not that great. I suppose, but we want that as well. We want archers, we need defenses. We want everything and we want them now. Isn't that how it always is? Yeah, we're gonna go pottery first and then iron working, I think. All cities water tiles plus one gold. That could be quite useful for us. Though, it's not going to combine with the other wonder, isn't it? Uh, go double woodsman. It's not going to help, is it? Oh, the religion already spread. That's nice. Okay. Plus one happiness all around. There we go. So now we're fog busting that whole area. So we can settle down here and get the stone. If we get all... I don't know. I'm curious about this. If we can connect here and get stone to all our cities. That'd be bloody fantastic. If that's actually how it works. I don't know. <laughs> it The early texts seem to indicate that, but again, I don't remember. It's been so long since I played. Now, we didn't get a civic to it, didn't we? Uh, where's the, where's the civics? That's over here. Uh, can build missionaries. That's actually worth it. Not yet, though. Uh, it says buildings. I don't know if that counts. I don't know if wonders count as buildings. But I think we're gonna spam out a few settlers, claim territory, and find out. Uh, so you're just gonna sit tight right there. Should probably just fortify them instead of anything else, really. They're not gonna move. I'm going to sit there and guard until I have time to do anything or something else. You finished that warrior. You need... You're size 3. That's fine. Build a settler. I'm going to finish that in 17... Really? 17 turns? Really? 12 turns. There we go. I was wondering. And you finished that improvement. You're gonna need... So you need to connect it then. Yes, we do. So now find Buller Road there, Buller Road here. Connect it. Then we're going to go up and get the uh, rice. Is that it? Rice, yeah. Hath not the potter power over the clay to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? Cottages. 
Uh, that's fine. Commerce plus one gold becomes a hamlet. More gold. Village. More gold. And ultimately a town. And towns are pretty darn good. And pretty hard to come by. <laughs> since it takes so long. Development takes a while, huh? Anyways, it's time for a break. Thank you for watching.